happening YouTube Chris here with my trucking journey uh, it's about 0 5 30 in the morning uh, just got a uh, message from dispatch asking me to deadhead to um, Greeley Colorado which is about 500 miles away from Corrine Utah where I'm at currently where I dropped that load off at a Walmart um, stayed overnight here and then I got this message this morning asking me to deadhead to Greenlee, Colorado. Uh, and I told him I would. Um, I usually always do and um, deadhead, I don't, I don't deadhead very often. Uh, they never really give it to me all the time. Um, but when I do, it's about four or five hundred, uh, four or five hundred miles. And every time I do, I I always end up well with a good load. Uh, I know there's a meat load that comes out of there. So that's probably where they're sending me to get this meat load. So it's probably gonna pay very well. And I just trust in the system uh, like everyone else should. I mean, everyone else has their own opinion, but, and experiences, of course. Um, but with my experience with my fleet manager, every time I deadhead, I always end up pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's about uh, 17 degrees here in in Utah, and it feels like four. <laughs> so it's cold. Got my bunk heater going, and still kind of cold in here. But um, we're staying warm. Hope you guys are doing well, um, and I'll keep you guys updated. you at this Petro uh, in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. I'm about five miles away from my 01. I went there earlier uh, with my empty. I had an open window from 01 to 2359, so I decided to head there. It's about 50 miles from where I was at. Um, dropped the empty, went up to the desk, the guard check desk where my loaded trailer was. And they told me um, that I need to contact dispatch and ask him what the trailer number is. Then I contacted dispatch. He's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, oh, and then he's like, oh. And then he sends me uh, the trailer. And then it is nowhere to be found on the loaded side. And I had them check it on the computer. They had don't even recognize that trailer number. Uh, went around that lot about three times, contacted dispatch. He told me it is there and sent me Google uh, coordinates to put into Google. And it was in the empty lot. So I went over to the empty lot just to, you know, double check. It was there, but it was empty. And I'm looking for a loaded trailer. Uh, he said, well, then it's not going to be ready. It's going to take a uh, a little bit so it's probably gonna end up uh, being at do uh, dead drop time this is a cores load so it's a beer load pays shit uh, when I saw the load um, I wasn't gonna take it I wasn't even gonna move but then he sent another one uh, right behind it saying are both of these good and then I looked at the second one and I was like all right I'll move <laughs> It pretty much sums up my whole week. I got the whole week planned. Uh, the other one drops in Pennsylvania. It's gonna be a Philly load, a Philly cheesesteak load going to PA. Um, and that drops on Tuesday. So that'll be probably my last load of the week, but that sums me up for the week and we're looking good. Uh, other than that, I pulled into this TA and man, I saw a shit ton of smoke and there's a truck on fire with a bunch of fire trucks. I ran over there as quick as Cuisini and uh, got some video of that. Um, but other than that, I guess I'm gonna be 
sitting tight here at this TA and um, probably, I'll probably end up taking the whole 10 hour break and then uh, getting up and going and grab that thing. Um, this light doesn't deliver till tomorrow at 0800. Uh, I have a window with that as well, so it's not a big deal. Um, so anyways, guys, um, they were saying that that dude was cooking in his truck, so were they thinking that's what it was? I cook in my truck too, but I'm always watching it. Um, maybe he was watching it and something happened, but that's why we keep fire extinguishers in here. Um, I mean, just always watch what you're doing, especially when you're cooking in your truck. Um, yeah, that thing's, that thing's fucked. But, uh, anyways, y'all be safe out there and catch me on the next one.